Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of our Kitchen Design Podcast uh, with me, Andy Brown from Artisan Interiors. I'm joined, as always, by my co-director, Danny. Hello, guys. And our very special guest this week um, is uh, Katie Stone, the very aptly named Katie Stone, who works for Cosentino, who are a solid surface worktop manufacturer, uh, biggest in the world. And uh, she's going to tell us all about solid surface worktops today. We're going to be answering all your, uh, your burning questions um so say hello katie hey everybody thank you for having me how are you doing oh you're very welcome oh pleasure um so uh we're gonna get start basically katie if you want to just uh, tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into uh working for cosentino um selling solid surface worktops sure i mean I, I wouldn't say it's probably the most exciting of stories but um so yeah i've done this for this would be my 10th year now um out repping on the road looking after everybody um and I genuinely would say I, I don't really have any any background in it. It was um, the job came up. I was looking for, for something. And I think probably because of my name is why I maybe got selected for it, as you say. Um, but yeah, yeah it seemed like the right opportunity for me. And did, nominative determinism, isn't it? Something they yeah, up. I think it was kind of they probably put in a search for stone and by, you know, my name just yeah. came up. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, over 10 years later, um, still doing it still going um and i find it really interesting so hopefully here's to another 10 years strong fingers crossed yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. and it's uh, do, do you like work is it a lovely great company to work for you're not going to say i that, do i you? do like i said i wouldn't be here 10 years <laughs> later if i didn't enjoy it um i do i enjoy my job i enjoy people i work with uh, i enjoy all my customers i do i genuinely i love doing the job yeah. and many years ahead let's hope for that yeah, who are your favourite customers? Especially these customers, these two. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, there is no favouritism. There cannot be favouritism. I have too many, too many lovely customers for favouritism. That's what they all we, say. Uh, we had the pleasure <laughs> of joining you out in uh, at the factory in Spain uh, it was a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, that was yeah, well, yeah, was... before um, before COVID, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, really good trip. I was probably one of our favourites, actually. We've been on quite a few trips with suppliers, but that was that was a really good really good trip good i'm glad i think it does help massively i mean you know you guys obviously just see you see me all the time um but you just see the samples you know you don't get to see the big picture of how it can be made and obviously it's phenomenal to see it at the fabricator uh, but to then go actually out to sane and see the raw materials and how how we produce it on obviously a massive scale to do to go um global yeah I, yeah i'm glad you guys come we obviously we always love people to come out to spain and see it so i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah, the quarry, the quarry was particularly awesome as well. So uh, yeah, yeah I've never seen anything like that before. So yeah, no, it, it would, we don't we don't tend to have mass marble quarries over here. So uh, no, <laughs> not such a huge coal sure. mines yeah. where we are. <laughs> Indeed. In fact, there is a, a there's a video of our a trip over there on the R Artisan TV channel. So uh, yeah. you can check out that trip yeah. if you want to see that. Um, we've got lots of questions to get through today, but uh, I think you're going to um, kick off by showing us some of the latest colours that uh, Cosentino have come out with, so in the uh, the granite, the quartz and the Decton ranges. Sure, so, lovely. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to share your screen, that'd be great. I shall do, and let me make sure sound is on. Okay, so um, if you guys can hear me okay, so this is the new sensor launch, which we launched I would say probably at the end of uh, mid to end of March now. So sensor is obviously our, our natural stone. It's our granite, but with our own treatment put on top of it. Um, the five new colours have come. Um, I think they obviously look absolutely amazing. They're a mixture between quartzites and granites. Um, to everybody, we would just know them as granite. Um, but yeah, this is a quick little video that explains um, what granite is. So hopefully a bit more in depth than me. <laughs> what is Sensor Granite? Sensor Granite is maintenance-free premium natural granite developed by Cosentino, a global leader in the natural stone industry for more than 80 years. This high-quality granite offers reliable performance and a 15-year transferable warranty. Natural granite is a material of great beauty but is very sensitive to stains. The porosity of granite also varies greatly, so it is important to protect the stone. Sensa by Cosentino features a revolutionary stain protection treatment known as SenGuard that ensures our product is stain resistant and maintenance free for many years. Unlike common sealers on the market, SenGuard is applied to the granite during the manufacturing process 
and requires no additional sealing for years to come. Over time, daily activity and the use of household cleaners can wear down standard sealers, leaving the granite unprotected in some areas. Due to this wear and tear, these sealers must be reapplied to protect the stone, which not only means additional cost, but can also cause darkening of the material. Additionally, standard sealers act as a protectant film and therefore do not allow the stone to breathe, thus reducing their resiliency. The result of years of research, combined with the experience of a company that has been in some of the most demanding stone markets for over 10 years, Sengard is a superior and unique stain protection treatment. Unlike other sealers, Sengard chemically bonds to the granite, changing the superficial tension of the stone. Under typical conditions, most stone surfaces absorb liquids. Sengard creates a barrier to prevent liquids such as water, coffee, or oil from penetrating and staining Sengard's surface, while also allowing the granite to breathe. If there are pipes or a dishwasher underneath a surface treated with a standard sealant, mold and moisture may form and cause damage to the surface. However, with Cosentino's Sensa granite, the humidity passes through the material, helping to avoid these types of issues. Because Sengard is a chemical treatment deep in the stone and not just a protective layer, the surface is highly resistant to scratching or chipping. An additional benefit is that liquids are repelled and not absorbed. In fact, Sengard is so effective that liquids can't even penetrate a mound of sand that has been treated. The formula is also resistant to UV radiation, meaning color change will not occur as a result of solar radiation. Sengard performance versus common granite sealers. No sealing required. The treatment is applied during a carefully monitored manufacturing process. As a result, there is no need for fabricators to seal the material after it has been cut and installed. A sealant has to be applied by hand, by either the owner or a professional installer to protect the granite. The treatment penetrates the material through chemical bond, allowing the stone to breathe. Standard sealers require yearly reapplication to protect the stone from staining because they break down over time. The treatment cannot be wiped or scrubbed off and is not affected by scouring sponges or common household cleaners. No special cleaners are required to clean Sensa. These types of sealers create a thin layer on top of the granite and do not allow stone to breathe. Sensa with Sengard comes with a 15-year transferable warranty, supported by Cosentino's customer service department. Common household cleaners break down standard sealers, but it is impossible to know when a sealer has been worn down and on which parts of the surface. Areas without protection are susceptible to becoming darker in color when exposed to chemicals often found in household cleaners. With a proven 10-year history, Sensa Granite by Cosentino gives you all the beauty of natural stone with outstanding performance against stains. Okay, that's probably a little bit longer than I thought it actually was going to be. Um, <laughs> but basically, that explains all about Sensor Granite against natural granite. The fact that we offer the 15-year warranty, that's a massive thing for customer peace of mind, especially on granite, which yeah, is a natural product. There's no, no one knows what you can, you know, what what's going to happen to it and how it was made, etc. So, 15-year warranty is amazing. I don't think anyone so, else. I don't think anyone else puts a warranty like that. Not that I'm aware granite, of the granites. No, I don't think anybody, not on staining. I mean, to offer a white granite that you can, you know, guarantee 15 years it's not going to stain. Mm. Big selling thing for, our for our customers. So big peace of mind, I should say, is probably a better word. The five new colours that we've launched, um, basically with these colours, samples, there we go, samples will be coming soon. So graphite grey, all granites are 20 mil and 30 mil. This one is a textured finish, so like a caress finish across the top. You can just about sort of see that in a bigger photograph. Mm. Then we have Siberia. This is the whitest of granites that we do with almost, um, I don't know how to describe it, but black sort of speckles and dots throughout it. This one's in polished. Mm. Then we have silver grey. This is, a, a, again, it's a, a sort of caress um a polished finish, sorry, polished finish, 20 mil and 30 mil. And you can see the heavy white veining running through it. Yeah. Uh, Platino, this one is a leather finish, so like a matte effect. This is one of the quartz sites, so lots of depth, lots of bits running through it. And then it's sort of counterpart, Vancouver, another quartz site, matte finish. And you can see they're absolutely stunning on, um, on a big piece. 
probably need people to come and see the slabs of this than me yeah. giving out little samples of it. Um, but these are the new launches in sensor. And then if you want, guys want a, a quick little sneak peek as to what's coming in hopefully June time onwards. So we have um, five new sandstone colors coming in a range called Sunlit Days. These are all matte effect colors. So they're only gonna come in the suede finish. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the idea is, as you can see, they're sort of the pastel -y colors, uh, grays, reds, greens, blues, just uh, nothing that we've got in the range so far. So yeah, excited to see these um, in samples and bigger pieces. I'm pretty and sure then, Schiller do doors to match all of those colors. Ah, yeah. there we go. So if people want to match up their um, yeah. their doors and their work tops, this could Especially be quite exciting. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people are starting to go for the matte work tops more. So I think this range will do really, really well with that. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. nice colors. And then these are the new range uh, called Ethereal Range. Again, you can see there's all heavy marble colours, which is big and popular at the moment and what a lot of people are after. Um, and yeah, again, I'm excited. I personally have not seen slabs or samples of these yet. So as I say, hopefully June time onwards and we should start to preview some slabs soon. But um, yeah, these are the new heavy veined marbles coming in the Sarstone as well. Oh, very good. Excited. Mm -hmm. so, good, I'm glad. my hands on those. Everybody's I know, I think everybody's... Marble, um, marble and vein effect at the moment is really popular. Yeah, I think these colours will do really well, really, really well. So yeah, I'm excited. So hopefully that's explained a little bit about the new launches that are coming over, well, now and then over the next couple of months as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Very good. So we, um, mm -hmm. people tend to come into the showroom and um, they, they'll just say, we want granite worktops. They don't, they don't mean granite. They, they, they don't know this quote, like the difference between granite, quartz and decton. So what is the best way um, that you um, would describe that to sure. so, a customer? Again, I mean, I've got some little videos which would be really handy for you guys if, if people are watching and they want to oh, want to see how these videos and how it's made. But I say to anybody, if you're looking for something that is completely natural, um, every single slab is going to be different. You want to come and you want to choose your slab. That's where granite really, really does play its game. You know, people, they like something individual. They like something that's wow factor but they want it to be natural out the ground that is granite market but in granite you tend to only go down to 20 mil so you don't get that really really sleek design so then people who want um something that like i say the marbles they want the full bodied vein in it but they want it to be uniform and they want it to look like the sample and there's no discrepancies within the slab that's when people would go for a quartz worktop like obviously sarstone yeah. And then we have what the latest sort of, you know, our, our next, our last thing that we did launch was obviously Dexon, which is an ultra compact worktop or a sintered worktop. Um, and again, it's something you would describe to a lot of people would say like making um, a glass or a porcelain or something like that. It's a very similar technology, but the print is only on the top of the slab. So if people want a full body design, you wouldn't necessarily go for Decton. But if you said, I want to put hot pans on my work top, you can only do that on Decton. So it's really a sort of game of when people come in and say, I want granite, as you say, they need to know what is it they're looking for. Are they looking for natural? Are they looking for full body design? Are they looking to put hot pans on their work top? And once you've kind of got all these sort of bits together of how they want to use their work top, that's then the best way to sort of guide them towards which of the products is going to be better suited to them. Um, um, but yeah, I have got some videos if you guys wanted to have a look at the, the Sarstone and Decton being made, or we can do some other yeah. bits come back. That's great. Yeah. Cause I mean, we all know what granite's made of. It's granite. It's, it's dug out the, out of the ground, obviously from different parts of the world, a big cube, yeah. different colors. Uh, but so what is a quartz worktop actually made of? So quartz is it's very, very simple. It's made of quartz. So quartz is obviously, um, another natural stone that is in within the ground, but you take it out and you have um, very small little clumps is probably the best way I can sort of describe that. Um, you have green, you have pink, you have blues, you have multiple different clear colours and yellows and things like that. And you basically refine it very finely down into almost a powdery sort of dust. And it is a quartz dust. Well, then, because we're being man-made then, when we add a little bit of resin into that, we add a bit of colour pigmentation, that's how you get the blues, the greens, all the wonderful colors. We mix that together like a sort of like a making a cake. We mix it together, we flatten it, we cook it, we polish it. 
that's how we make our slab at the end. So quartz is still made of natural products, obviously quartz being taken out the ground, but instead of it being in its normal state, like granite is exactly as it comes out the ground, that's how your slab looks. We take the raw material out the ground, grind it down, and then we add things to it to make it into make a man-made product. <laughs> quartz cake. Hey? And make a quartz cake. And make a quartz cake. I know, I always say a cake, yeah. but it's a really good way <laughs> of describing the big machines that make it. They do look like giant cakes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You've got a little, your little video you can show us. Uh, sure, if you guys want to... Cake. Find out about Silestone in less than four minutes. Silestone is one of the key Cosentino brands. Cosentino is a Spanish company that was created in Almeria in 1979. Around the north of the province, for many centuries, we've been finding some of the most famous and renowned marble in the world. This prior knowledge of stone was key for the creation of Silestone and later Decton. Thereby, this made Cosentino the leading brand worldwide. But let's start with how Silestone is made. After many years of work, we've succeeded in creating the perfect formula to make our surfaces. Find below our unique formula. Great innovation, big doses of know-how, technology, high performance raw materials such as quartz, and other types of materials such as resins and pigments. Once we have this, the automation of the whole production process starts. All the materials are mixed, transported, compacted and hardened in big ovens, and then cooled. Next, the slab is calibrated and made into the required thickness. As this is happening, the quality control checks are exhaustive and constant. The manufacturing process culminates with polishing the material. What's more, all the stages of the manufacturing process are environmentally friendly and 90% of the water used is recycled. It is also our aim to prevent workplace accidents and ensure the health and welfare of all our co-workers. Silestone is a surface made of 94% natural quartz. Its low porosity and high compaction gives it outstanding resistance and durability against stains, acids, scratches, and even impacts. There are currently more than 90 colors, colors that range from classic to seasonal, as well as the latest trends in art and interior design. Colors that are marbled, fine-grained, coarse-grained, solid, veining, natural. With Silestone, you can choose the finish, polished, suede, or volcano. Even though ours is one of the strongest surfaces on the market, we continue to research. As a result of this, in 2017, we created N-Boost, the revolutionary technology from Silestone that improves the DNA of our surfaces. Innovation that stops liquids from sticking, enhances shine, and intensifies color. Silestone is a surface with infinite applications. Bespoke products to serve any purpose, countertops, kitchens, bathrooms, flooring and cladding with minimal joints. In pursuit of total integration of our materials, we have also designed shower bases, wash basins, and even kitchen sinks. And speaking of total integration, just look at our sample. Silestone design continues through the whole part, which is perfect to avoid using miter joints. Let's do a recap. 90 colors, three different textures, more than 40 products. Also, let's add to this three different thicknesses, 1.2, 2, and 3 centimeters, and more than 20 types of edges. No two spaces will ever be the same. The combinations are infinite. Silestone has become the surface of choice in thousands of kitchens in more than 52 countries. You can experience any of our surfaces for 25 years. At Cosentino, we really want to thank you for your confidence in our products. Oh, that's great little explainer video there. That's really good. Good, yeah, I'm glad. I mean, one of the, um, uh, it, it covered it in there. So uh, one of the big questions that's asked um, on the internet is, um, are quartz worktop stain resistant? Now, obviously uh, we saw in the video that, that Silestone is, but it, that doesn't necessarily mean that all quartz is stain resistant, does it? Doesn't know. I think it's um, it's a big thing on obviously the how it's made. You know, Cosentino is not 
the biggest company because we just happen to be, you know, there's so much research, there's so much development, everything that goes into it is, is why the product is so good. It's why we can offer a 25 year warranty. It's why we give all the aftercare service and, and everything else that sort of comes with it. There's obviously cheaper versions of quartz out on the market, um, but they don't come with that, the peace of mind, the research and the technology that goes into it for it to be made. Everything that sort of makes Cosentino what it is, that's the reason why it's the global leader. And we can say, yes, it's high stain resistant, it's high impact resistant. We can say all these sort of things because the development's gone into it, which is obviously not there when you come to the cheaper products. So yeah, we wouldn't say that all quartz is stain resistant, but we can say that Southstone is high stain resistant, yeah. And uh, another question that uh, I'm sure, well, I've definitely heard a lot and Danny's heard even more. Um, mm -hmm. is this, can I put hot pans directly yeah. on? The hot pan, the hot pan question, every the time. Hot, the hot pan question always comes up. Um, yeah, regardless with any quartz manufacturer, whether they be at the top of the leaderboard or at the bottom, because quartz has, obviously a quartz worktop has resin in it, a hot pan would react with that resin straight away in the worktop. So you basically, we, we can do tests and we, we can see if people have put hot pans on them, but it can either, it basically the worktop will crack. Eventually the worktop will crack, but this can happen on the first time that someone puts a hot pan on it. It can happen after the hundredth time of somebody putting a hot pan. And generally from 10 years experience, I have seen it happen once and the customer had the kitchen fitted like two weeks. And I've seen the customer have their worktop for, I think the longest one was 10 years. They'd had their worktop it in, and finally, that's when it gave way and it cracked. So if you want to look after the worktop and make sure that you're not going to have a very hefty insurance bill in, in however many years time, yeah, make sure you use trivets, make sure you use chopping boards and things like that just to put the hot pans on. As soon as it's cool to touch, it's absolutely fine. But yeah, on any quartz worktop, it will react with the resin and it will crack the worktop, sadly. We've just had our new display fitted and um, we've had um, ProStone to um routed in some hot rods so that nice. the hot just for the people who, who continuously at, continually ask can we put hot pans on it so yes you can as long as you've got hot rods <laughs> routed it's, in next to the hob there's so many ways now of um you know you don't have to have these massive cast iron trivets and things you know that there's so many different innovative ways of doing it and exactly like you say the fact that it's on your display brilliant you know people can come in they can see it it's a really lovely looking feature to add to a kitchen and it, it, it yeah. just makes perfect sense and like i said it protects the worktop which is what we want everybody to do is look after the worktop well as you know we put the the price group two blanco norte in um it, it looks fantastic it looks really good so we're hoping that um it's going to draw people to it so then i look forward to coming and seeing it yes yeah. it looks really good so do yeah. another question that's asked a lot is do quartz worktops chip easily Quartz worktops, tops, no, I would say you could put, you, would, you wouldn't say quartz, you would say stone. Stone is the way everyone needs to go forward with that is, yeah, people will presume they go, does my quartz work top chip and things like that. Any stone work top will chip if you hit it, A, hard enough, or if you hit it at the wrong angle, it, it does depend. So yeah, not think we could include any of them. We can include granite, we can include quartzes, sintered stone, the deptons, things like that. The weak point is always going to be the edge of the work top. Yeah. Now, obviously, they all come with different profiles and things like that. So if you put more of a rounded profile onto it, it perfect, because then if you do accidentally hit it, it's highly likely that it will sort of, you know, shear away from the worktop. If you've got a pencil edge, which is what most people tend to have, a sort of pencil chamfer top and bottom. Yes, there's a slight resistance there. It's why you could never have it perfect 90 degrees. But yes, yeah, sadly, if you did smack it with a frying pan or you caught it with something any one of those work tops, regardless if it be our branding or someone else's, yeah, unfortunately you would you could potentially chip the work top. Up, um, and it's no manufacturer would come out and look at chipping. It's accidental, it does happen, everybody does it. It's just you've got to try and be as careful as you can not to do it, basically. We found the most vulnerable area is definitely around the sink. You know, you're lifting in big pans yeah. and stuff in all the It's such high traffic, time. I think that's the thing. We find it a lot with them um, underneath where the dishwasher is because people yeah. don't fully pull the drawers out. And we all do it. We try and cram a frying pan in there. Um, but a lot of people do it and you do get the little tiny dinks underneath. So we just say to it, just be a bit careful. You know, if you're taking something out the sink, 
lift something up and over onto the drainer board. You know, if you're doing something in a dishwasher, don't try and cram it in. Just open the dishwasher up, pull the drawers out and take it out. But yeah, it's just about being careful. You don't have to treat it like, you know, it's cotton wool. But um, yeah, just try and be a bit more careful. At, certainly, like you say, the high traffic areas around the sink and near a dishwasher, it, it can happen. Or if you know you've got, a, you've got a family like mine, buy something which doesn't show chips up so easily because mine is uh, also chips around, around the dishwasher area. So I, um, I, um, I had my worktops fitted and literally within about two weeks, I took a frying pan out of the sink and I just tiny little dink on the sink. No one else would see it, but I know it's there. So the, like yeah. I said, it doesn't matter even if you're in the industry or you're not. Accidents do happen. It's a stone worktop. It's just, yeah, the more careful you are, the less likely it is to happen, basically. I think there are things you can do, like uh, have a flush mounted sink rather than an under mounted sink. It definitely gives you that extra protection on the edge because it becomes a stainless steel edge rather than a... Yeah, don't have edge. children. Don't have children. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I agree with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what would you say were the hardest wearing kitchen worktops? Hardest wearing, um, or is it depends on what you want to do to it. That's how hard wearing it can be. Um, you know, there's people out there who've got um, a laminate worktop and it's in absolute pristine condition. And um, it does depend, what do you want to do to, to the worktop? If you said, um, well, I want to put hot pans on my worktop, Decton is of course going to be the harder wearing worktop for that one. And um, the same, if you said, I want to, I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to pour nail varnish all over the worktop and set it on fire, Again, Decton would be absolutely perfect for that one. Um, so I would say any stone worktop is hard wearing. Of course it is. But if you want to do that bit of that extra mile, that's when you would go towards something like Decton. But I, I think it does depend on how well you look after the kitchen. If nothing is going to withstand, <clears throat> I don't know. But I, I've seen people do phenomenal things with kitchens and um, use all sorts of products and everything on a worktop which shouldn't be used on a worktop. But if you're doing it for day to day, yeah, I would say any of them are, are strong, strong worktops. Just don't go past what our recommendations are basically. Mm. Yeah. Read the warranty. <laughs> yeah. Basically look, look at it before you take like a motorbike engine apart on a worktop, see if that's in them. Um, see if we recommended to do that one, because that would probably cause some damage. Yeah. I do know a guy who, who actually did that. Um, not with uh, Cosentino, worktop but he had just a um another stone just a um a random stone manufacturer um in there and he where the oil leaked all over his granite it stained just that one area so he got the engine oil and put it over the entire kitchen to match, so it all matched rather than uh because it did it did soak it completely in but he said i just got a rag and i just rubbed it all over left it overnight and i came downstairs in the morning and it was all Done, but it smells, that smells, smells a bit like a mechanic's workshop. But yeah, I was going to say that's not something I would go for in my kitchen. No, no, no. But that was a, a game that that was a um, just a cheap a cheap stone, um, which he which he got from. Um, uh, I don't know where he got it from. Yeah, he got it from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was a story he was telling me. Love it, love it. So you uh, you mentioned Decton. Um, tell us what Decton is made from. Okay, so again, I've got a lovely little video for you. Um, Decton is made out of inorganic minerals taken out of the ground. So for me to try and explain that would probably be dreadful. So yeah, let's go for um, a quick screen share and I can show you guys another quick video. Why choose Decton in three minutes? How is Decton made? Decton is not quartz, nor a porcelain surface. It is much more. Decton is an ultra-compact surface made with a sophisticated blend of the raw materials. These materials are used to produce the very latest in glass and porcelain, as well as the highest quality quartz work surfaces. While nature takes thousands of years to make the metamorphic changes in natural stone, Decton emulates this natural process with the largest press of the world. Also, the latest technology is used to create an ultra-compact surface in hours. Five reasons to choose Decton. Reason one, it's just one piece, the same material through the body. Seems to be the same, right? They aren't. 
Here we have a separate decorative glazed top layer and a base color layer. This is Decton. The properties are the same throughout the slab. This results in a surface with better mechanical, thermal, and a unique design. Reason 2. Decton helps you to save money. Choose between five different thicknesses. Due to the availability of 2cm and 3cm, there's no need to miter the edge, saving you money from a porcelain countertop installation. Reason 3. Decton needs minimal maintenance. Decton offers the natural stone and other exotic materials look and feel without the cost or maintenance that these materials need. Thanks to its minimal porosity, you can use any cleanser, even ammonia, or just a wet rag. Reason 4. Because of its beautiful design and best innovation. Reason 5. 25 years of assurance. Get the best countertop warranty in the industry. 25 years limited transferable warranty. Decton protects your investment for years to come. Decton is made in Spain. You're already convinced, aren't you? There we go. So hopefully that answers what is Decton in a yeah, very yeah. better way than I would do it. In a three-minute video. In a three-minute video. <laughs> So we, we talked about hot pans, not being able to put hot pans on, on Salstone, but uh, so Decton is a product that actually the, the warranty covers you put in hot pans directly. You can put hot pans on it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when it comes to um, commercialized kitchens and things like that, obviously we, we have to look at it and we have to assess it sort of uh, kitchen by kitchen because obviously in an industrial commercialized kitchen, temperatures can go through the roof to multiple different things. But as we were using, we would use it in a day-to-day -day end user's kitchen house. Yeah. Yes, you are absolutely fine. You can take take pans, take casserole dishes, frying pans. I did what else you do, oven trays, anything like that, straight off the hob, straight out of the oven, straight onto the worktop. It's absolutely fine. It will have no impact whatsoever. In fact, it's the only the only kitchen worktop that you can put a hot pan directly on. That's in the warranties and things. Yeah. I mean, without going into the likes of stainless steel, which we don't tend to see in you know, customers' kitchens anymore. We no. see it in the big commercialised, but yeah, when it comes down to that, yeah, it's, like I say, twenty-five year warranty again on a on a work to up. It's a good peace of mind for the customer. We fitted um, deck on for quite a few customers who are just so scared to even tr to put a hot pan on it. It's like they don't believe us. So, but I can continuously tell them just just you can take it straight out of the oven and put it straight on, and it'd be fine. But but people are still hesitant to do it because it's it um, is funny. I do um. I do love doing the test with people where we're sort of if somebody is a bit unsure and we go out to site perhaps to have a look and the customers there and they're, they're sort of really gently dabbing at it with a kitchen roll or something like that and we come out and we put like nail varnish remover over it paint strippers on it and we're like yeah you know it's absolutely fine but you are right customers are just sort of yeah. they, they want to do it but they're just a little tiny bit oh I'm not too sure so yeah it's absolutely fine put the hot pan straight on it it is yeah. fine they get a shock when we start sharpening our metal spatulas on ours. <laughs> we give it a right beater. You know, you can you scratch, we used to have a key which you scratched into it and it looked like it was scratched, but it's in fact the metal from the key mm -hmm. leaving a residue on the worktop which just wiped off with your finger. It's yeah, it amazing, is. It is an amazing product. Phenomenally yeah. strong, phenomenally strong. Yeah, we eventually wore all the teeth completely off the key because we demoed yeah. it so much and then um, it was just smooth. I have so to it, ask, what door could you no longer get into? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have a spare key? <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was one that came in the uh, the Decton. Hopefully, demo kit, yeah. Wasn't it? Which I it don't was, know yeah, what that ever right unlocked. <laughs> don't know where that key went to. No. Nope. Um, yeah, and we, we have, we've set fire to the nail varnish as well. It's, uh, it's a good, good little, fun, that one. Good fun. Yeah. We stopped doing that though, just for just in case uh, we ended up burning the showroom down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, be careful. So, of the the three products that you do, the sensor, the, the Soulstone, and the Decton, I know we can't talk about uh, pro, you know, specific prices because we sure. it, it really depends on you know what's involved in the fabrication, the size of it, how many slabs yeah. you need to buy. It's a really difficult thing to talk about, but. Um, as far as where the prices sit, you know, what is your, your the cheap from the cheapest to the most expensive? Um, you know, where where do we start? 
Sure. So I would say um, if you were to start Sandstone, we have six price groups. So group one is our lowest, all the way up to group six, our most expensive. And granite can really vary throughout everything. So we have some granites that would be cheaper than our price group one. We have some granites that are more expensive than anything that we do in the range. So granite being natural is it, just, it can be all over the place. So it's always worth sort of double checking on, on the granites, but yeah, they, they can vary throughout wherever. With the Sarstone, yeah, so group one would be our lowest. Then we go all the way up to group six, which are most expensive. But bizarrely, group six, a group six colour is actually our biggest and best selling UK colour at the moment. It has been probably for the last 18 months since we launched it. Um, so we were saying when people say price conscious, not always because that colour sells the best. Um, Decton, we then have um, sort of four price groups in the Decton. And to start where that would sort of sit is if you imagined the Sarstone group four, which is a pretty good medium range sort of group, that's where the Decton's group zero and group one start to come in then we sort of go into a group five on sarstone that would be a group one or two decton and the same a group six sarstone would be a two or three decton and then decton x gloss predominantly most of the x gloss colors would be if you imagined like a sarstone group like seven and eight that's where they sit at the top so a lot of people have in their head that decton's more expensive than sarstone because it you know you can put up pans on it you can do things like that but it's not, it's genuinely the sort of group four, five and six in Sarstone. A lot of the, a lot of the Dectons do come into play in those price groups as well. So it's always with, if somebody says, you know, I absolutely love a price group six, but oh, Dectons too expensive. No, genuinely have a look at the Dectons, see what the prices come through at. And as you say, it will always come down to fabrication of how much work is going to be done, you know, to that slab is, is massively where it comes into play. But yeah hopefully it can give people a bit of mind to say Decton's not the most expensive product out there it generally does fit in quite nicely with quite a lot of the Sarstone colours hopefully that answers yeah. that yeah absolutely <laughs> so Good. go go back to the the, the, the X gloss Decton that's truly impressive to have a, a, a shiny surface like that that's so scratch resistant the high scratch resistancy is amazing on them um, is amazing on the X gloss I did um once with a customer who put, I believe that was like marker pen or something on, on top of an X gloss uh, sample. And she wiped it off the top and it genuinely looked like it was still there. And you think, oh my God, okay. We scrubbed really hard with to get this like permanent marker. The whole thing lifted it off and not a single scratch on the worktop from the cleaning sponge. So it is amazing to see something such of a high shine and as you say, still high risk scratch resistancy. Mm. You can still put the hot pans on it. Yeah, it, it is lovely. And they do look, they look amazing in the X-Gloss. They really do. Mm. Fantastic. Well, we've burnt for all of our questions, I think. <sighs> yeah. Well done. My time is up. <laughs> Phew, no, you think? <laughs> Did, that was, uh, yeah, really good. So um, all the questions, that <clears throat> we've been through all of those now and uh, hopefully we'll give... Um, a lot of people out there a little bit more of an insight into the differences between everything and yeah, sure. we... I mean hopefully if customers um, you know on your YouTube channel I believe on YouTube you can comment underneath and things like that yeah. if people have got other comments by all means you guys can um, ping them over to me and we can answer any further questions couple of people have got if um, if they comment on the video and stuff absolutely yeah, yeah. put any, any questions you have in the comments box and don't forget to like and subscribe um, to the uh, it's only episode two, but uh, I think we're doing pretty well. So uh, we've covered lots of questions in the first two. Yeah, thanks for joining yeah. us. We, we, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me again. And we actually mentioned you last week, Katie, when we were talking to Ryan, because uh, Ryan's a, a great uh, champion of laminate worktops. So I said we should get <gasps> you two in a ring with boxing gloves. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, with these claws, yeah. I'd like to see who would win. Yeah, well, we put our money on you. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, well, thank you very much, Katie, for joining us. And um, that, again, don't, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments box and don't forget to like and subscribe. And until, uh, until next week, um, we've not actually got anything uh, organised next week, but we will have, uh, by Friday, we'll have uh, someone lined up for the next um, podcast. So until then, thank um, you very we'll much. We'll catch Katie, up with you when you pop in next. Yeah, we'll Perfect. see you. We'll see you when you're in next. Okay. Thanks, guys. That's it for me. It's goodbye from me. And me. <laughs> Bye.
I'll add in, and it's goodbye from me. We're, we're, we're new to this. We're new to this. So, uh, yeah. Hello, and it is off. Just, you know, all you need to do is watch the two Ronnies. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.